Hi everyone! Welcome to another episode of Scientific Friday! I am Teacher Janelle and I'm on a journey again to understanding the different things around us. Ready to join? Come on and let's find out why science is everywhere! Have you ever visited the zoo when you were in grade school? Were you able to see these animals in the zoo? If not, that's because they are really not existing anymore, even before me and you were even born. They are already extinct. Today, we are going to talk about the factors causing extinction and species endangerment. In this topic, we will discover the following. What is extinction? What are the human activities that cause extinction? How can we prevent human-caused extinction of species? Extinction is described as a total loss of species. This is a process that species on Earth have naturally undergone for millions of years. As time passes by, some species are lost for different reasons. For millions of years, Earth has undergone five mass extinctions. But what causes extinction? There are two major categories of causes of extinction, natural and anthropological. For today's session, we will focus on learning about the anthropological causes of extinction. To make it easier for you to remember, let us use the acronym H-I-P-P-O. H for habitat loss. I for introduce an invasive species. P for population growth. Another P for pollution. O for overexploitation. Are you ready to learn? Let's start. H for habitat loss. The natural habitat of plants and animals continuously get destroyed and eventually will be lost because of massive deforestation due to mining, quarrying, and illegal logging. Aquatic habitats are also at risk of destruction due to building of excessive fish pens and illegal fishing practices like dynamite fishing, and overfishing. In the Philippines, illegal logging and mining is one of the major causes of habitat loss and endangerment of species. Palawan, our last green frontier, still faces an issue regarding mining for economic purposes. Environmentalists even risk their lives just to advocate in saving natural habitat. I for introduce an invasive species. Some species that are not native to the habitat are introduced by humans for economic purposes. These species may wreak havoc to the natural balance of the ecosystem. These species are harmful in different ways. Some invasive species consume too much space or food displacing the native species in a specific habitat. Others carry diseases and parasites that affect native species and humans as well. An example of this is the golden apple snail or known as Pomacea canaliculata that was introduced as an additional source of protein for Filipinos. However, it turned out that these introduced species were invasive as they pestered the growth of rice plants and displaced the population of native edible snails. This shows that proper studies should be done before introducing non-native species into a certain habitat. P for population growth. Current data shows that the Philippines is ranked 13 all 
over the world in terms of countries having the most population, having an estimate of 109 million people and counting. That also means having a density of 337 people in one square kilometer. Just in Metro Manila, there are over 22.7 million Filipinos, a quarter of the total population of the Philippines. It is no wonder that the city continues to convert lands for human shelter at the cost of endangering the natural habitats of plants and animals. Another P for pollution. Because of the growing human population, human waste in solid, liquid, and gaseous forms also increase. This causes pollution that damages different habitats, which ultimately leads to decrease and loss in biodiversity. For example, the increasing air pollution in cities displaces birds and various insects like fireflies and dragonflies. Also, water and land are not spared from pollution. The Philippines is known for being a famous tourist destination. This means that the more people visit tourism hotspots, the more chances of having waste in our seas and lands. O for over-exploitation. This means over-extraction of natural resources from land and aquatic habitats for human consumption and economic purposes. It ranges from poaching exotic animals into the market for clothes and food, land conversion and coal mining, as well as illegal logging to pave way for roads and subdivisions. And that's it! Do you still remember the HIPPO acronym? Let's have a recap. H is for I is for P is for Another P is for O is for If you answered everything correctly, that's great! Thank you for keeping up! If this continued to happen, the animals that we still see such as lions tigers, whale sharks, or butanding, pawikan, tarsier, and Philippine eagle might only be seen in the books, pictures, and documentaries in the future. It is sad to say, but while we humans are the most intelligent and adaptive species, we are also the major cause of endangerment of species that may lead to extinction. But, we can also prevent them in our own little ways. Here's how. First, responsible consumption. Exotic animals are not human food and not even for luxury bags and clothes. Gone are the days when we have to hunt for animals for clothing. We have to admit that we really need plants and animals as raw materials for our daily lives. But, Remember, when you get something, try to give something back. Like setting up your own vegetable garden for herbs and spices, or buying from sustainable stores. Practicing sustainability can reduce the pressure that is put onto the environment, even if it's just a little. Second, try taking care of plants. If you are living in the city, Still try taking care of plants or even a tree on your backyard. Even small plants can provide shelter for insects or attract bees or butterflies for pollination. Meanwhile, trees can attract birds for nesting. Aside from that, plants and trees provide clean air. This is one of the reasons why local governments have tree planting projects within their areas. Good examples of the last green frontiers in the cities are Araceros Garden in Manila and La Mesa Eco Park in Quezon City. 
Third, reduce. Reduce too much consumption from water, food, and products requiring production that may cause air, water, and land pollution. Just buy goods that are enough for you. Live simply so that others may simply live. Buying too much means extracting more from the environment. Try doing this and the future generation might still see the plants and animals that we still have the privilege to see in real life this time. I hope you learned a lot today and can apply these learnings in your daily lives. Join me again for our next Scientific Friday. And together, let us discover things around us because science is everywhere. I am Teacher Janelle for Teacher Vival. Goodbye, everyone!